Hello everyone, this is step 6 sub F video. In this video, I will connect the PID with the MATLAB Simulink and do an online test. This PID comes from the Siemens i7-1200 controller. This PID is a PID compact. And the process model as well as uh, the control loop we already set up in the MATLAB Simulink. Currently, we already built up successfully between the PLC and the MATLAB Simulink. This OPC UA connection is working. Also, this MATLAB Simulink, this loop is working properly. And next step, we will connect that uh, OPC UA tag, that feedback signal and the PID control signal go to this uh, PID controller. And let's go back to the TI portal, connect that two tag into this uh, in and the output. And now this tag is working. Okay, we can go offline first and go to the PID. Let's go to the cyclic interrupt. Okay, this is our PID. So currently we will change this input and the output. Okay, meantime, let's open this uh, data block OPC UA. And now we will connect this uh, PID feedback, go to the input of this uh, PID underscore compact, and uh, drag this uh, PID control signal, go to the output of this uh, PID underscore compact. Okay, let's hit this uh, configuration button to look at the detail configuration inside this uh, PID loop. And because our process this is a temperature system and that is a cooling system, so I will select this as a temperature loop. So this selection is just a name. It will be only used for adjust this uh, unit here. Learning this invert logic, in my case, I need to select this to invert this uh, logic. That means our gain will be a minus value. That's because in this system, that is a cooling system. That means if the PID output going higher, so the process value, that is the temperature, will going down. That is the logic is invert. So basically our K, the gain parameter, need to be a minus value. So this, if we check out this, that means our gain is a minus. Active mode after the CPU restart, I will select the manual mode as a default. Okay, let's check out this input and output. According to this case, I will select the input and the output, I will select the output. Okay. So that means for this PID loop, the input process value feedback, we will use this OPC UE PID underscore process value. And for the output, we will output this value go to the OPC UE PID underscore control. This two value will be used to exchange the value with the MATLAB Simulink. And regarding the process value setting, I will not set here because I will not use a, a monitor or alarm signal from this PID. Okay, the rest of things that important that is this page. Firstly, we need to enable this manual entry. Allows us to change the value here. And according to this tuning rule, I will use the PID control. And for the sample time of this PID algorithm, uh, because currently we are using the cyclic interrupt 100 milliseconds to call this PID. Since this is a one temperature control loop, so our sample time do not need to so fast. So I will set 0 0.5 half seconds. And with this uh, 100 milliseconds cyclic call, so every five times it calls this uh, PID. And the proportion game, I will set maybe let's do a temporary setting that is a 10 as an initial value. Integral setting, I set a 20 seconds. And a derivative time, we can set a 5 as an initial. This is just a test, okay? And uh, after this, we can save and uh, compile.
All right, after the compile, let's download this controller. After we download the controller, we can go online to see the actual values. So currently this PID controller is under the menu mode. So this menu enable that is a true. I'm giving a 20% value direct go to the output. So this is a, the process value. That's process value come from the MATLAB simulink. And now this simulink is working. Okay, so let's go to the commissioning wheel. And uh, let me use a one second sample time and uh, let's hit the start. So the system will start and uh, it will show the online status. And because currently the system is under the menu mode, so the output is a 20 and uh, the side point that is a 35 I'm going to switch the system into the automatic mode go back to the program and uh, I will switch off so the system will switch to the automatic mode and hit this button go back to the commissioning window and we will see the temperature is going down that means the PID is working. Because our side point is 35, so the process value decreased from 45 to 35. And as we discussed, since this process is a cooling system, so to decrease the temperature, this PID output is going higher. And this black curve, that is a side point, and the right curve, that is a PID control signal. And the feedback that is uh, the green curve. As we can see, this uh, green curve is approaching this uh, side point, and the right curve that is a control signal. Okay, so that means uh, this PID is working, and uh, our MATLAB simulink is working. So if I open this uh, MATLAB simulink, and uh, let's double click this uh, scope. So it match for this uh, process input. So we will see from this scope, this blue curve that is a process value, it match with this uh, PID input here. Okay, from the simulink side, if I use this slide, to give a different uh, disturbance of this uh, process value. So let's see what will be on this uh, process value. If I increase this value, so we will see, give the disturbance. So I'm toggling this uh, disturbance value. So we will see this process value is changing. And uh, to control this process in auto, so because the PID is in auto, so this PID control signal is changing to make this process going around this side point. Okay, let me give a bigger disturbance. So we will see this change from the scope and this uh, process, and from this uh, curve. So we will see, even if I give the disturbance before, but uh, the process value still working around this assign point. So that means this PID is working, and the communication between the MATLAB simulink, this uh, simulated process loop, and the PID from the, our PLC, they are all working properly.
All right, till this video, we finish all the sub videos for the step six connect mathematical model to PID as a controlled object. Next video, we will discuss the manual and the automatic mode switch bump list. See you in next video. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumb up. If you like to watch more videos in my channel, please subscribe and hit the bell. Thank you for watching.